Hello. In this video, we're going to learn how to use Terraform to deploy a Lambda function to AWS. To start, I've got a Lambda function here in my repository. This is just lambda.py under source. So this is not a very original function. It's just going to take an event and then print some values from the event. But I'm defining the function with the Lambda handler function definition. And although I don't specify it here, I am going to be using Python 3.10 to deploy it. That'll become important a little bit later on. So this function is under my source directory. I have one more file in this repository, and that's under deployment. I have a Terraform file under main.tf. Now in main.tf, I've got four blocks that I want to explain here. The first is I've got an IAM policy document that just sets up an assume role policy. In this, I'm allowing a Lambda function to assume that role. Next, I've got an IAM role for Lambda, which I'm assigning the assume role policy in that first policy document to this new role. Next, I'm creating an archive file, which contains the Lambda.py function that I showed you just a moment ago. Now this is using path.module, which is the path to the directory that Terraform is running under. And then it's using the dot syntax here to go up one level in the directory structure. And then it's going into source and then finding the lambda.py file. You can also use source directory and zip an entire directory if you have a Lambda function with more than one file in it. But then I'm taking that file and I'm outputting it to lambda function source dot zip. And finally, I've got an AWS Lambda function defined here that is consuming the file that we just created, the archive file lambda function source dot zip. And we're going to name the function Python Terraform Lambda. We're going to assign it the I am for Lambda role that we defined earlier with the assume role policy that we defined earlier as well. And then we're also going to pass in the source code hash just to verify our checksum here. And that's going to be a base64 encoded output of a SHA-256 checksum for that archive file. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I am running this with Python 3.10 and the handler function is going to be lambda handler, the same one that I defined here in lambda.py. So now that we know what we're deploying, let's open up the terminal. And first, I'm going to check my AWS account for what lambda functions I have in there currently. And you see, I've got two right now that are unassociated with this demo, but it's worth noting that they're there because after we deploy it, we're going to want to make sure our deployment is successful. So next, I want to make sure that I'm in this deployment folder, and I'll go ahead and run Terraform init. And now Terraform apply. So before I apply here, I want to point out a few things. The first is that our Lambda function will be created and the role for that Lambda function will also be created as a part of the Terraform plan. We also have a new file here on the left side, which is our Lambda function source.zip file. So what the archive file data source has done for us is it's zipped up that Lambda function and then put it into a format where the Terraform provider for AWS can consume it and pass it to Lambda to deploy it as a function. So let's actually take another step out here. I'm gonna open a new terminal and I'm going to change into that deployment directory again. And I just wanna confirm that what is in that zip file there is the source code for the Lambda function I'm trying to deploy. And I'll do that with the unzip command. So there we go. I've confirmed just by listing what's in that lambda function source.zip that my lambda.py file is the one that's in there and I can close out this terminal and go back to my Terraform apply. So now that I'm here, let's go ahead and deploy this. Okay, so Terraform has let me know that two resources have been added. Let's go ahead and rerun the AWS lambda list functions command to confirm that it's deployed into our account. All right, so there it is. My Python Terraform Lambda function has been deployed. 
and I'm ready to start using it. That is it for this demo. Thank you all for watching. Take care.